Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge. Alrighty, let's dive right into this recommendation. As you, I'm sure you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about adult clubs. Um, this was a recommendation by a viewer, um, but it's also something that I realized I hadn't made in a while. So just by the nature of the kind of clubs we're talking about, this one is basically a BDSM rec video, except for one of the books like honestly, except for one of the books, these all are going to involve kinkier BDSM. So if you're not into that stuff, just, you know, save it for another video because generally when there is a sex club, it's going to have those aspects included. And again, I only have one book that isn't. And we'll start with that one and then we'll just get into these because I know a lot of you, you know what happens at the clubs and you're okay with it. So the first one I actually want to recommend is Falling Into Bed with Duke by Lorraine Heath because this one has this club that is actually, it's called the Nightingale Club and it's where women can go and they're in control. Like they get to choose who they spend the night with, they get to keep their anonymity and they can meet partners and, you know, be free to do what they would like without fear of being, you know, um, Victorian canceled is what we call it. Right. Um, actually let's see what time period this one is. Yes. Victorian is where we're in for sure. Um, but this one we have Minerva Dodger who if you are into the Lorraine Heath world, you know that she's the daughter of a hero from another series that we have, um, but she's a spinster. She has plenty of money. Her family is providing for her, but she hasn't found someone. So she wants to have a intimate affair, basically. So she wants to choose a lover. So she dons a mask and goes to this Nightingale Club where she meets, meets the Duke of Ashbury. Now, he has a very interesting... I mean, let's call it a kink because why not? We're on the book refuge. We can do that. But he likes to photograph women, particularly their feet. Um, not only is photography really new in the time that this is taking place, but wanting to photograph like intimate parts of someone's body is definitely not like allowed anyway. And so she won't like trust this man with who she really is but she's very intrigued by the things that he'll like offer her at this club so this one was very fun this was one of the like like first lorraine heath that i'd read i hadn't read too many before this one and i just loved how unique it was and it really became something of a staple obviously i mean lorraine heath has been doing that for years it was just new to me how unique and different some of her plots were so yeah, if you want one that isn't completely kinky and over the top, like, well, here's one for you. It's a little bit of Victorian kink, you know, which can be soft, can be soft. Um, going through, let's just do another um, historical series, why don't we? And we have the Fallen series by Nicola Davidson. So this is one that I actually read the second book first because it had a submissive hero in it. So these are some novellas. This is cute. Um, and this is about the, um, what is the club called? It has been, it, I think the club is just called the Fallen. I don't know. Let me look here. It's been a long time. I can't remember. But anyway, there's these men who run the club. They all co-own it together. And it's a scandalous pleasure club in London. And there are different fun kinks that happen in them. There's like role play in some of them. There's dressing up. In this one, there's a hero who likes to be um, disciplined. And he has like hidden that from his wife and kept it a secret because he feels shameful about it which is very interesting in the fact because he's co-owner of a sex club you think he wouldn't have to be so like fearful of it but you know he is and then we have um the seduction of viscount vice so this one was fun too so here's three different little ones i don't fully remember what like each one of them was about but uh christy actually gifted me this one christy you're too sweet that's funny i was looking at the insides of these so that's great I love it. But anyway, there's three little quickies that you can read. By the way, I will have all of these videos I'm talking about linked down below if you'd like to get them on Amazon, whether the Kindle version or you want to buy one, they'll be listed there. Now, let's get into all the rest. Now, of course, of course, 
the book that I think, the series that I think in, has inspired a lot of people to ask for me to make this video, um, and definitely I think reignited the love of sex clubs for people, is The Salacious Players Club by Sarah Kate. Um, you know, so there's praise, and this one of course starts it off with a uh, ex-boyfriend's dad romance um, between, um, between Emerson and Charlie. And he ends up with a new assistant who he thinks, or he doesn't realize that his son's ex-girlfriend who's coming to get the rest of her like rent deposit back, um, he asks her to get on her knees for him and she's so stunned that she does it. And then he realizes who she is and he's like, I completely fucked up. So he ends up offering her a job, a little bit as a bribe, but also because he's intrigued by her. And she ends up wanting him to teach her his spicy ways. And that's how we get introduced to the Salacious Players Club. Y'all have heard this by now. It's here. It's around. The last book in the series is coming out in October, in this month. And I have an arc of it and I'm kind of like putting it off because I don't want to be done with the series, but there it is. All right, then there is Unfurl by Elodie Hart. Um, I've only read this first one, but the Unfurl program um, in this series is about like virgins being deflowered basically. And this hero and his business partners, they've created this program where women could come and get, they could lose their virgin, they could get rid of their virginity in the most pleasing way possible. Like there's no risk involved. Um, well, there might be some risk involved, but it will be the most pleasurable way possible to fulfill their fantasies and lose their virginity in this, like, wonderful way. And this girl who she's always lived a very, like, repressed, buttoned-up life, she's finally getting the chance to do this. Um, and our hero, who, like, partially owns this club, um, he is her new, like, uh, up, like, up-floor neighbor, like, their penthouses or whatever, you know. Um... And her family's going to be gone for a while, and then he's also asked to look after her. So there's just layers of uh, tension involved in it. So really big age gap. He also shouldn't be getting it, like personally involved with someone. He doesn't know if she'll be into the same kinks as she is, you know, because she's still a virgin and everything. But that's also a little bit hypocritical of him to say that because, you know, he's someone who helps women lose their virginity and he doesn't think they should be treated ever differently but then he wants to treat her differently for it so there's layers okay it's complex everybody okay then we have a good old throwback here which is masters of the shadowlands by sharice sinclair this is actually a bind up of books one and two so this has club shadowlands and dark citadel um and so i'm actually just going to redo the little blurb for the very first one in this series this is a very popular long-standing series i think it was first published. The first one came out in 2009. So many, many people have heard of this. Um, I've read the first four in the series. I haven't continued on. I've read other books by Cherise Sinclair. Um, but I absolutely like this is a fantastic one. So this one says her car disabled during a tropical storm. Jessica Randall discovers the isolated house where she's sheltering is a private bondage club. At first shock, she soon becomes aroused watching the interactions between the doms and their subs. But she's a professional woman, an accountant, and surely isn't a submissive, is she? Master Z hasn't been so attracted to a woman in years, but the little sub who has wandered into his club intrigues him. She's intelligent, reserved, conservative. After he discovers her interest in BDSM, he can't resist tying her up and unleashing the passion, passion she hides within. So what's also interesting is so like Master Z, he is kind of an overarching person in this whole series, by the way, like he shows up. He shows up in the series that I like by her for sure. But he also has a bit of a paranormal aspect. Like he can read people's minds to a certain degree. Um, and so that's how he knows when she shows up that she's very curious by what she sees and he feels comfortable kind of pushing her to accept more than he normally would. So, yeah. But anyway, that's like the start of this series and it's a very beloved one by many people. All right, then we have a short one here. This is A Lesson in Blackmail by Katie Robichaud. And this one doesn't completely take place at the club. It's actually a part of a series that was Black Mountain Academy. But this one is a teacher student where the woman is older, but also the student is the one who's like pressuring her into something. Um, he's already been kind of teasing this light. She's a librarian, not like full on teacher. Um, and he follows her one night and discovers that she goes to a sex club where she 
works there and he uses that as blackmail to get her to let him do stuff to her and but what makes this actually really beautiful this is a very short book it really is but what makes it really beautiful is that he actually wants to be really good at being a dom and so he agrees to take like the classes to become good because this also connects with a series by Katie Robichaud that takes place at this sex club the club alias series and so you learn some of the rules of that club like through this book of like it's actually run by like a psychiatrist who they use kink as like you know a helpful thing and so it isn't just some like wild and crazy shit you know like there are rules to it and boundaries and all those things which there should be of course of course there is all right then we have another series that is well well loved and absolutely deserved too we have the voyeur series by Fiona Cole. This is the fifth edition anniversary copy that I got when I went to Book Bonanza, which is great. So it actually has a bonus story that I still haven't read yet. I've been like saving it to read for a good time. It has like a Christmas story in it and everything. Um, and it also has some of her like annotation notes, which is cool. Um, but anyway, this is the first in the series um, at this club where most of the books are about like co-owners of the club, but this one's actually about someone who works there. And it fascinated me. I loved when I first read this book because it's basically a place where you can go to watch like live porn and you can either be watching it or the person you're with, you guys can like be messing around while you're watching it. But you as let's say the consumer, which one of our characters, our hero is a teacher and he's a consumer of this you can request what you want to see. So you get this data pad, you can say, I would like to watch two guys on one girl. I want there to be kinking, kink involved. And like, you could plug that in. And then there's people who work the club who get these requests and then they're paid to fulfill it. So they will actually be having the sex, but they're not necessarily like as like into it with the person because they're performing a job, they're performing a role, they're performing this scene that you have requested. And one of the women who gets this job there um, to make some money to get her through college is a student of the professor who's watching. And so that becomes our taboo relationship. Uh, but it's a very powerful beginning. I really want to reread this one sometime soon. Um, but the series has like all different matchups. There's uncle's best friend. There is brother's or best friend's brother. There is um, a mm relationship that starts like so there's lots of fun stuff through the series so highly recommend it all right then we have the blindfold club by nikki sloan um i don't own any of these ones anymore but i read these ones back in 2020 and i just loved it i love like everything by nikki sloan but these start out with i think three simple rules is the first one um but this one is a club where it basically starts with kind of like <laughs> oh, it's really hot where they have like negotiations. So the, the woman who's going to be for sale that night, right? Um, but they're all people who work the club, but it's set up where they're like for sale because that's part of the kink. So she's wearing a blindfold and she's like laid out on a couch or a table and the people like bidding on them or making the negotiations will like walk in and they'll get to look at her. They can maybe do a little touching and then they make a bid. And so then there's someone in the room who's the negotiator and through this series, you'll get to see different people's roles, like, throughout it and everything. But they'll basically get, like, bid on for the night. And then once a the person buys them, they can either, like, they can do what they want with them then. Um, of course, they're still safe words. It's really not, like, as dark as I make it. I don't want to talk about it. But um, you get to then, like, choose what you do with them and everything. And it's really good. So, again, there's all different people through this series that we see. In one of the books, we get to see the owner of it when he falls for this very innocent, like, I believe it's like a senator's daughter or like a governor's daughter. Um, and that really, like, fucks up with his life. Um, there are some menages in this series. They're sharing in this series. But it's some of the hottest kind I've ever seen. Like, it just, I love it so much. So, I do highly recommend this series as well it's a bit of an older one um but nikki sloan she is up there with like sierra simone for like erotic romance authors to me it's really really good and if you're someone who loves negotiations and you love kind of the like 
the awkward yet sexy technical explanations that happen, I you'll love this series. It's so good. All right. Then I have one I want to recommend that this one doesn't completely take place at the club, but I really wanted to share it anyway because I just, I love that the author sent this to me. So this is Desire for Dominance by Ali Marr. This was a debut author's book and she had sent me a signed copy of this one. Um, and this one is about Lily and Mark. And so this one is really cool because it actually involves some like mismatched kinks. Like Lily gets an eye of, of Mark when she goes to like, she's a guest at a club one night. So she comes to just like watch and check it out. And she's not interested in much of it at all, but then she sees Mark and Mark is being dominated by a dom that's there. And she really like wants him. And so she needs to go through some training and learning and see if her and Mark can be compatible with each other. And so it really like stretches and grows them quite a lot. So I really enjoyed this. I was really happy to be asked to read and review this one and I just want to pass it on. Like I said, I'll have the link down below for this. This is a viewer of the channel and a debut author. So I love to support those people when they reach out to me. So give this one a try if you want to try that. Like I said, not everything we read takes place at the club, but a good amount of it does. So I would consider this one a sex club recommendation for sure. All right, there also is Kink Camp by Adriana Anders. So this one, as the title suggests, is much more about like a camp, where is this place that you can go and live out your desires here. And I've read both this one and then there's a second one in the series, but um, there was a lot of primal play in one of these. There was some cool scenarios where like you could set up a primal night and so you would you would sign up for like a part of the forest where the prey can have like real live like ground and like rock and dirt to run through and then be like chased down and like fucked in the woods and it's really hot but then there's also like party events that happen at it so this one was like it was a lot um and part of the reason i kind of struggled with book two in the series particularly. The first one I liked a lot. It was a more of a quick story and um, I enjoyed that couple a lot is just how um, like many other people can be involved. Like I like when we share people sometimes but I don't love when they're like used as a shield which again was kind of the point of the story so there's that. But anyway this one I wanted to include including because I thought it was a unique look at like a club or a, a you know an adult group or something. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But yeah. And then the last series I wanted to recommend, which it's been a while since I have, and that's a shame. And that is the Wicked Villain series by Katie Robert, which of course takes place at Hades Underworld. So we'll start with Desperate Measures because it's book one. Yes, these are beautiful. I also wanted to tell you these are available on Amazon. I'll have the link down below to it. You do not need to pay exorbitant prices for this. This is the edition that Katie Robert, she did do a Kickstarter for these to start, but they're now available to be purchased. So you can buy this right off of Amazon. That's where my copy came from. Although this was a gift from Cassie. Thank you so much. Um, she gifted me a few of the books in this series, which was so kind. I'm only still missing the last book and then I'll have all of these. They're beautiful. But anyway, these, a lot of these take place in Hades Underworld, which is a neutral part of a neutral place in the city. So all these different, you know, high powered people who yes, are based off of villains from Disney stories and they get their kinky HEAs in here. So this one is Jafar and Jasmine. It involves primal play, CNC, um, and bratting and doming and it's delicious. Um, her father has just been overthrown and now Aladdin, he's kind of the villain in this one. He wants Jasmine to be his, but she's always wanted Jafar and now he has the chance to take her. So again, this one is like, it's consensual non-consent and you will really see the line of how Katie Roberts set that up, which is great. But then I also wanted to share Learn My Lesson, which is book two. And this one really takes place at the club like the whole time because it's Hades and Meg and they've been together for a long time. They have a very complex relationship. And as like a gift, Hades like gifts her Hercules, um, but it's not just to be nice. He also wants to get back at Zeus. Um, this series does transcendently connect with her Olympus series. I'm not the one to explain how it does, but this is the book that really kind of crosses over with that. Um, but Hades or Hercules ends up getting kind of round into the relationship. So, and used as a bit of a toy 
and it's hot. Okay, there's no other way to say it. This one has MMF scenes in it. This has Meg doming Hercules and Hades doming both of them. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love this series. Um, it's my favorite, or this series is my favorite by Katie Robert of everything she's done. So I highly recommend. So there you go. Those are my recommendations for adult slash sex clubs. Let me know some of your favorites. Um, I definitely have some other like BDSM recs that also like fit into this, but these are the ones I wanted to bring up to you. So thank you so much for watching my friends and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.